just fell off. What's going on guys? We are out on the blustery, blustery Winnebago. Hopefully this wind isn't too bad for you, but uh, we're out here hunting down some punk. And we've stopped at a few different spots already. And uh, I can tell you what, we finally found our first pout. So uh, we're just gonna hunker down here and uh, give it about 10, 15 minutes. If nothing happens, well, we're gonna get on, uh, on the move. So fingers crossed. This is the spot. If not, like I said, we'll be out moving. Let's get the Citadel set up, get out of this wind, and hopefully pull some pout through the hole. Well, folks, had to put up a uh, ice shanty by Mr. <laughs> Chase Larson here. It is a little bit windy it's out here. Windy. You're fighting the wind a little bit. Chase, have you ever set up a sidestep before? No. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I thought those were rocks. I, I don't even have a bait on you. Look at them all. Look at him. Oh, he's going to eat my, my spoon. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> we haven't even got set up, guys. Oh, my gosh. He ate my, my spoon. Oh. Look at you, slimy. Lover. <laughs> I got him with, what are you doing? I, oh man, I'm sweaty. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. All right, here. I don't know why I just threw him outside. We've got so many down there. All right, oh, look at that. Oh, we're eating lobster tonight, guys. Yes. <laughs> oh, I just swiped at it. Yeah? I can see it. Oh yeah, he's down there. Oh, he's coming up for the camera. Oh, he's going down for yours right now. That's a big toad. That is a big, big toad. They're everywhere. All right, guys. This is exactly what's going to happen. I got to take this out. I got to get rid of this spoon. Because it ain't doing anything for me. I'm going to put a big jig head on with a twister tail. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. They're just... We landed on the pod. <laughs> so we got these new edge boxes here. Oh my gosh, look at them all down there right now. We got these new edge boxes. And they have been working out absolutely, absolutely fantastic for ice fishing right now. So we got some Mr. Twisters. All right, just some basic pearl, uh, I guess pearl Mr. Twisters here. We got a Northland... Um, just an uh, eighth ounce jig head here. And because there are tons of fish down here, we are gonna make this change up very, very simple. All we are gonna do is we're gonna clip this bad boy right on, just like that. All right, and now, Oh my gosh, look at them all down there. Oh yeah, he's already going for it. Oh, oh, I think I snagged him. I think I snagged him. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is incredible. Oh, hopefully it doesn't get tangled up, tangled up with the... Oh yeah, it's a big one. Yeah, I snagged him in the back, guys. Oh, yeah. So, he won't be... Um, Keeping this one. Sorry, buddy. Oh, there's another one down there. Look at that. Snake fish, it's going back down. Have fun. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, well, here's one. Look at that. Coming after. 
from high. Found it. Yep, I see her. Yep, he got it. He, oh, he just got him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. That was awesome. Oh my gosh. Now, when you when they get up to the hole, just grab the line and pull them out because they're so slimy. Yep. Pull them out quick. quick. There you go. Oh, nice. Yes. <laughs> Give me yeah, some. Baby, yeah. Wow. That was awesome. Right in the corner of the mouth. All right. Can't beat that. All right, so we have a little break in the action now. So what we're doing, I mean, <laughs> that was a fun, fun mess right there. What a cluster, but it was, that was a fun <laughs> one. You know, so uh, Chase and I both have on twister tails now, eighth ounce jigs, all right, very, very simple. But uh, as you guys saw, um, as we started, you know, as we're setting up, you know, that one hit that pimple and uh, there was nothing on it or anything like that. So now these pout, you know, burbot, uh, the eel pout, lawyer, whatever you want to call them, freshwater ling, uh, you know, tons of different names out there for them. You know, they're great eating. You know, we're gonna have some great, great uh, poor man's lobster from these fish so far. Um, but, you know, they can't really see too good. So these big snaps of the rods uh, that we're doing here, you know, big snaps, you know, it, it, it helps uh, those fish to, you know, actually, you know, feel that bait before they see it. Now, when they get close, they utilize, you know, their sight a little bit, but, you know, it, it seems as though they just cannot see too good to, you know, I guess completely um, just come out and demolish a bait. So uh, we're going to get back to jigging here and hopefully, well, uh, we're going to have some more fish coming up through the hole. Badger Sportsman Magazine, the premier outdoor magazine, published in Oshkosh and written by Wisconsin sportsmen for Wisconsin sportsmen. Get the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. The premier outdoor magazine, Badger Sportsman Magazine. It is absolutely nasty outside right now. It is. You know, we've got, uh, they're at least on a forecast this morning, 30 mile an hour gusts here and, uh, well, coming up from the south too. So it's shooting all the way across, um, you know, Winnebago and hitting us. But, uh, you know, ice conditions right here that we're sitting on, well, we literally have about uh, nine inches, roughly nine inches right here. Um, a spot behind us, you know, we stopped at a few spots before this one. You know, we had, you know, six inches, uh, you know, one spot, 10 inches at another. So it really varies out here um, and stuff. But I mean, you know, we're not bringing our trucks out here or anything like that. So traveling on the snowmobile, I can tell you, it is a bit chilly. It really is. But you know what? We're pounded pout and that's all that matters. Let's get another one right now. <laughs> that one's super dark. Nice, dude. Nice. Hey, the other one's coming for mine. The other one's coming for mine. Oh, it's coming. Oh, you slimy. Son of a gun, you. Oh. <laughs> yes. The pout pounder. <laughs> Look at that. Look, that's why they call it eel pout, to wrap right around your hand. Lawyer, they say the same thing, right? Oh man. Ah, look at that. All right, another one up on the ice. There's one. On you or me? You, you. Oh yeah. Oh, he's going, he's going. Oh, he's almost. Oh, he missed it. Oh, got him, got him. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Your line breaks. Uh, three yeah. pound test. Oh, there's dude. another one. Oh, oh he just he almost put it in his mouth. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> three pound test. I, I was gonna go for it all the way down. I was about to swim, yeah, man. You know, I was I was there for you. Oh, oh my gosh. Guys, that's how you catch the poet. <laughs> In style. What a way to end it oh, on that one. Oh man. That's hilarious. Yeah, this, this camera's done. We've caught a ton of fish, put a ton of fish on it. Well, literally, oh man, now we can't even steer jigs down there. But we've got 25% left of battery on the other camera here. And this has been an incredible, incredible day chasing the pallet. So I guess uh, we're going to call it good on this one. And uh, oh man, I think we're going to head back out in those 20 mile an hour winds and uh, head back to wind. So. Guess uh, until next time, guys. Tight lines. Stay dry.